We had Orange Cassidy versus Pac for the number one contendership. Okay, so the, the, this the, ended the, up being well. Actually, it, it it worked out in the end, the way it was supposed to work out, but we had a disaster in the middle of it. Yeah. So the deal is, is that they were going to do the three way at the pay per view, and the hope is that they will still do the three way at the pay per view. Um, you know, it depends on Orange Cassidy. Although he was he was fine later in the night, but he took a nasty kick in the face, and the power bomb looked kind of ugly too. But and he was knocked out, or 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 close to knocked out, whatever it was. But um, so they they and they stopped the match. They were going to a twenty minute draw. That was the plan. Um, and they were about fourteen minutes in when when this happened. And then they basically they did a good job as far as once they figured out. I mean, it, I don't want to say good job because if the guy had a concussion, he was still he still went for another minute or two before they figured it all out. So that's not good. But as far as they called an audible, they got Kenny Omega out there. He hit Pac with the title belt, so Pac's knocked out, and Orange Cassie's knocked out, so it's a double knockout. This is the first finish like that on the history of Dynamite, and it is a finish that, in fact, they had vowed they would never do, but circumstances, you know, no DQs, nothing like this. Circumstances beyond their control uh, led them to this finish. So all the people who, for all this time, are going, you have to have screw job finishes. Not that this is a screw job, but it sort of is. It's a it's a non finish for sure. That you have to have non finishes. Well, now you got your non finish. Okay, now you got your deep double knockout finish. Okay, so anyway, um, well, I mean, is a double knockout finish any different than a draw, a time limit draw? Well, time I mean, limit it, it draw. wasn't a DQ. I guess you could well, sort of it, say it, it was is, a it, count it, out. It's it's. it's it's a double knockout. It was a double knockout. So it was it was a draw. Yeah. I mean, but it's And they not were going to go to a draw. It's it's but that's still not the kind of finish that they want to book. Um time limit draw every now and then's okay and they've done them before. They they've done Darby Allen and Cody and I think uh Pac and Moxley did it and there you know, I might there might be one other. But generally speaking, they, they they do them rarely, but you know that they can do them. Um and this was going to be the, you know, this was going to be that one. Um, and probably they were saving their best stuff for the last five minutes. So we didn't get to see it. Um, so it was mostly, it was mostly Pac just th throwing orange around. Orange did a couple of cool things. Um, the match was okay, but I'm sure that like the match as it was laid out probably would have been much, much better had orange not gotten, uh, knocked out or whatever it was when he got that kick to the face and the power the power bomb looked scary. Honestly. The power bomb was what I thought. I mean, he got super kicked and it took him a second to get up, so that may have been what started everything. But he got power bomb. It, it is what started it. Yeah, he got power bomb right on the back of his head, totally folded over. And Aubrey goes right to check on him, and he rolls outside. So she starts counting the commercial. They come back and he's made into the ring. And Pac knows this guy's not all there, so he just lays on the mat in a headlock. And yeah. I so, mean, I mean, so, so, so Cassidy, knowing what the finish is, was trying, you know, in his mind, from what I understand, is what I was told, is that he's, um, in his mind, he was trying to figure out a way to last until the 20 minutes, since that's the finish. And so he didn't really tell anyone he was hurt, but he was hurt. And, well, uh, Aubrey figured out he was hurt because she calls for the referee or the doctor. Right. So the doctor comes over to check on him. And as the doctor's checking on him, Pac is just standing there in the middle of the ring. And so finally they bring out uh, Don Callis, and he distracts Pac and Aubrey. And then Kenny Omega sneaks in, and he lays out Pac from behind with the belt. Aubrey turns around. Both guys are down. It's actually a very clever way to get to where they wanted to go. Without right. having to do anything with a guy that was hurt, so yeah. both I mean, it guys. Was it was it was it was thinking on your feet in a bad situation. Yeah, without you know, it was that. So both but, guys are are counted out. Kenny and Callison do the promo you've seen a million times. Well, they're both losers, so we're not going to have an opponent for the pay per view. And then Shivani comes out and says, "Well, I have just been alerted that it will be a three way at double or nothing." So it is uh, Pac Orange and Kenny Omega for the title three way. I will say this. Double or nothing. It was very much um, that promo 
And that finish was very much, I mean, like with WWE, again, like it wasn't a planned finish and all, but it absolutely came off like WWE. Um, and I don't know, you know. Because WWE does this all the time. Yeah, to set up three ways. They, they, I don't think they, they've ever done a single three way in AEW, have they? Um, I don't know. I don't like the idea of three way in a champion in, a, in an AW championship match. I do not like it. I didn't like it when they did it with the IWGP championship either. But um, I, I, you know, I mean, I can get the dynamic in the sense that um, it probably will be a real good match, and it's, it's you know, Pac is a super worker, and Orange has you know all that charisma and and you know fan appeal and everything, and it's going to be a full house. So I think that like. I think that they're counting on it really working, and um, so that's why they went with it. But as a general rule, well, look, they've only done... I don't Pretty think safe to say that I think that they expect that it's going to work really well. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, if you do, a, you know, like anything once, you know, it's not like it's a pattern, but I really don't like the idea of three ways for the world title, especially it with, you know, the same thing with WWE in the sense that if you put the champion in a position where you can lose the title by not even getting beat, it kind of makes the championship look like a joke. Um, if you're thinking logically, I mean, like, and, you know, I... Well, the so, thing with WWE is we've seen it a million times that often it is a crutch. It's a way to not beat Bobby Lashley when you take the title off him. It's a way to not yeah. beat somebody. And, I mean, listen, one time for AEW, I mean, I don't see this being a problem. If they start doing this regularly, if they do this match and Orange Cassidy pins Pac to win the title, which I think is there's like zero chance of that happening. Yeah, I wouldn't like that at all. I think that would be bullshit. I yeah. mean, but I think that if if Kenny Omega pins one of them and we move on to the next thing, we don't see another three way for a long time. Then what's the problem yeah, with doing it once? Um, I think it sets a bad precedent, honestly, for the championship because they've really done a great job with their championship as far as. Every championship match you've had, you've had a winner and a loser, no screw jobs, and it's all been singles matches with, you know, kick-ass singles matches. Um, so I, I'm not a fan of it, but, you know, is it going to hurt? No. You know, I mean, you know, unless they have a terrible match, of course that would hurt, but they're probably not going to have a terrible match. And it's not, you know, it's not 100% that, that Cassidy will be in it, but the feeling is is that he will so if it's kenny omega and Pac in a singles match if that's what it's forcing to be well the thing with orange is is i mean hopefully they check his neck as well because ricky starks got dropped on his head and he popped right up he did an entire match he also injured his knee in the match and he may need surgery on his knee really he did the entire match and no complaints did everything and later they find out he fractured his neck so orange may be fine and you know Talking to people or whatever, but that doesn't mean he's fine. He needs well, to be checked out. You know, the out. thing is, is when you know when it comes to that, very often, um, you know, you know, you wake up the next morning and all of a sudden it's like fuck. You know what I mean? You're you you know you're 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 not feeling that bad. Like you're not feeling that bad yet, but but come the next morning or you know then so, sometimes it's it can be really really bad. But hopefully he's okay and uh, hopefully he's able to do the match. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.